All right, man, what to do, YouTube, man? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. So in this video, man, I will be installing a factory OEM remote start for a 2015 Dodge Charger. This can go to a 2015 to 2023 Chargers. They're all pretty much the same. Um, I have the OEM um, remote start kit. There's the part number if you're looking for it. So pretty much I'm not going to be doing too much talking in this video. I'm just going to demonstrate to you guys, make this as straightforward as possible, okay? So the first thing that we're going to want to do is um, remove all these tabs off of this splash guard right here. All right, so we're basically going to remove this um, hood latch. It uses a 10 millimeter. So once you get the bolts loose, go ahead and just unscrew them out. I don't have an extension, so I'm just gonna go ahead and freehand it and take them out. So as you guys can see, I went ahead and removed one, one bolt. Just gotta do the other side like that, so I'm not gonna record the whole thing. Like I said, I'm trying to make the video as straightforward as possible for you guys. So once you get all the bolts out, there's gonna be a little tab right here. Then I just wanna carefully just pry that off. So as you guys can probably see right here, there's two tabs um, that you guys need to remove. And Basically, you're just going to squeeze, squeeze, push it out. So as you guys can probably see the difference, this is the new one. The only difference with the new one is it actually has the connector on this side right here. As this one doesn't. So pretty much you're just going to basically reverse those steps and install this one. So let's get your bolt. Up. I'm gonna install this connector last. I'm gonna try to do this side first as I can see. Just get your bolt started, you know, use your hands and you know kind of like tighten them up. me you guys All right. get your next bolt do the same thing as you're putting this on don't just rush make sure you kind of line it up make sure everything is centered you know you see you got a little a little groove right here line it up with the hole that you guys see right here make sure that it's centered before you actually start tightening anything down Okay. You know, just slowly tighten it. Because I'm, you know, showing you guys, you know what I'm saying? Because if you're not a person who really works on cars, I'm just trying to show you like, hey, you know, just make sure you're careful. Don't try to rush through it. Okay. So now that that is centered, we're gonna go ahead and connect our wires back up. So as you guys can see, I went ahead and uh, connected this wire back in. And you guys remember that clip down here at the bottom that you guys had, um, you know, slid off. Make sure you guys put that back on, okay? The next part is hooking up your wire harness. So now we're gonna take our connector and um, 
basically get it ready to be plugged in. All right, connector is plugged in. So as you guys can see, um, I ran the wire underneath this, ran it through a hole, you guys will see it, and you pull it out through here. Be very gentle, okay, you guys? Just be very gentle as you're wiring this. Okay, so now we're gonna take this ground and I'm gonna show you guys where to hook it up to. So these two grounds that you guys see by your fuse block, I mean fuse block, fuse holder, you're gonna basically take a, um, a 10 millimeter, unbolt it, tie down the ground, and I'm gonna show you guys right now. Pretty much, I loosened it up, took the nut, kind of loosened it up with the nut. So I'm gonna basically do it with my hand and grab it so that way I don't drop the bolt. So this is a 10 millimeter bolt that you guys do not want to lose or drop. Pretty much as you guys can see, I got it screwed in. So now I'm about to take the nut wrench and tighten it down some more. That's in there. Now the next step is to um, get the zip tie that's provided in the, um, the OEM kit and just you know make it look nice and neat don't rush it take your time you want to make sure you give yourself enough leverage make sure you don't damage this wire okay all right you guys so pretty much you got the connector about to go ahead and um make a little small hole but first what we're going to do is we're going to move the glove box on the passenger side so we can get to the bcm so we need to go ahead and remove this panel right here You guys make sure you take your time man okay take your time okay there's two screws two phillips screws right here that you got to remove okay so what i do is i put it in a little cubby all right And there's a pin, as you guys just probably saw them remove. You wanna put some, take the tension off, okay? And when you do is you pull that thing down, okay? You hold it like this from one side to the other, lift this up a little bit, pull it down. So the screw goes back. So pretty much this glove box is gonna be held on like this, okay? And what you're gonna do is carefully pull it off. All right, put this in a safe location. So it ain't gonna knock you upside your head. All right, so I switched to my phone so I can show you guys better the screw. So you got one, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six. Okay, make sure you guys remove all those screws. All right guys, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna pry this down. Be careful because this is held by clips. Okay, this is held by clips. So, as you can see, everything comes down with it. So, you guys can see this plug right here. All right, see this plug? We're gonna have to detach that plug. I'm gonna try to do this with um, two hands. If not, let's see. Okay, so, this the plug that you need to remove, okay? I can't do this with two hands, so I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I got the pin connector out. But if this is still on here, okay, I'm gonna show you guys something. So you see this little black tab right here? You're gonna wanna take something like this, okay? Looks like I can hold my phone and, and demonstrate. And pretty much, you're gonna wanna push this in. So pretty much what you're gonna do is you're gonna like push it in and it slides off. So pin 11 is gonna be this one right here that's empty. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get ready to run our wire through and plug that connector into pin 11. As you guys can see, it's back in the connector. 
And um, I would probably just recommend just putting like just a zip tie right here. You know what I'm saying? Just for extra security. And we're just gonna put everything back together. All right, you guys, as you can see the purple wire, I have it ran through. So this is the wire right here. Have it ran through. So now I'm about to go ahead and plug it into the 11 pin connector. and it's in so as you guys can see the 11 pin connector is in so pretty much we just got to reverse the steps and put everything back go ahead and zip tie this back so what i'm doing right now is placing back those screws that we had took out earlier All right, so pretty much done with the glove box. We're done with the engine bay. So let's go ahead and clean everything up and we're gonna go work our way to the back. So the next step we have to do is um, pull down the rear seats, both sides. So pretty much what we gotta do is we gotta remove these um, carpet tabs so we can lift this headliner um, rear deck up. So this is the piece that we're gonna replace, but as you guys can see, Dodge already had a wire already ready, but we still gotta hook up the, um, the antenna, and I'm gonna show you guys that. But you're gonna wanna remove, there's two bolts on each side, both 10 millimeters. You're gonna wanna remove these, and replace it with the, the one that obviously came with the kit. So as you can see, this is the one that we're gonna replace it with. And as you can see that pink connector and the pink connector, because this one doesn't even have a pink connector. So we're gonna replace it with this one. Get this up, get this up out of here. So as you guys can see, I got the new one hooked up and the old one right here. This is the antenna. We gotta basically remove that handle right there and just pry it down, the headliner down just a little bit, just to gain access. And this should basically probably, um, it should just clip in. So we're about to see. So I was good until I got up to this point. This is a star point. So now I gotta go to AutoZone and get a start point to remove this because the piece that is the antenna goes up underneath this headliner. All right, you guys, so you see those two circles in that little line? I'm about to show you guys where that go, and there's two squares right there. That's where the antenna is gonna go, okay? It's a better view for you guys. Rear, back, crossbar, okay? All right, you guys, so Everything is put back together, as you can see. Now, I didn't put these tabs back. So that's what I'm gonna do right here. I just wanted to show you guys, this is a, a T30. So if you wanna remove these, these are a T30. And I'm just gonna replace these clips. And I'm gonna show you guys how to program the new keys. I wanna give you guys a heads up. Once you remove this, your car will not turn on. Okay, because this is what the key is programmed to. So if you remove this and you're in an area, make sure you're at home doing this installation because you will need to program new keys, okay? Just letting you guys know. Well, as you guys can see, the kit does come with new keys. So I'm gonna go ahead and program both of these. I'm gonna get these keys cut later. If you guys wanna know how I programmed, um, this key file remote to this charger, comment down below, I'll make a separate video.